I met uh, Octavio, I think, in 1988. I was in Mexico. I was writing a report for an American foundation, which they never published because they didn't like it. And uh, I met him at the house of the Brazilian ambassador, who was a very intelligent man. He's alas, he's dead. But we had a nice conversation. He knew my book about the Spanish the Civil War. We had a very easy relation based on a knowledge of, of literature and of history and of the two combined. I saw him sometimes in, uh, in London, sometimes um, in Spain. I remember once he gave a very good reading of his poems in, I suppose it was in uh, Chatham House, no, Canning House. Very nice occasion and then he came back to have dinner here with us. And we had, as a matter of fact, someone he wanted to meet, Naipaul, who subsequently became a Nobel Prize winner himself for literature. But I remember we were sitting in the veranda there, it was a summer day, and Octavio spoke brilliantly. He was a wonderful conversationalist, you know. Um, he didn't talk about dull things, he was always interesting. And I liked talking to him very much. Of course, I, uh, I think I had read before then his wonderful biography of Sor Juana Inés de la Cruz, which I think is one of the best biographies of, um, of any literary person. It's certainly one of the best biographies in the Spanish language. Uh, I think they are. I've mentioned this wonderful biography, Sor Juana Inés. I think many of his um, essays will be remembered a very long time. He read so well about um, uh, ancient Mexico and about also about modern Mexico and his poetry will be remembered and loved um, in, um, uh, in the original but also in, um, in translation.